Don't worry, Sonic. I'm sure they'll animate you this time. Right? We are finally going to talk about Sonic Frontiers, revealed at the Game Awards. If you like content like this, please subscribe. Let's watch the trailer and break it down frame by frame. I wanted to get a close-up of this because I want you guys to notice how much more stretchy and bouncy Sonic is. I know this is a stretch. This is not something we really saw a lot of in Forces. If you remember, the opening sequence was very, very stiff. So we've we've heard since the press release that this is the the main antagonist is actually in fact not Eggman. Uh, this is an AI called Sage that Eggman tried to capitalize on, but it went awry and is now ravaging this Starfall Island. Now this is the scene where we are apparently hearing Amy. In these leaks, we haven't heard anything about the design of what this ghost girl looks like. Now think about ghost girl for a second. Ghosts, you can't see them. Sonic can't see this ghost girl either. In fact, Sonic can't see anybody. That's a big criticism of the game right now is this world is empty. What if this world is full of ghosts? This is Amy, your friends are existing in this cyberspace. It's the only thing that really explains how barren and empty these worlds are. There's a repeated idea of these rings kind of, and not the rings we know, but they're loops. You have to kind of almost run through to activate certain things. It is inevitable. We are going to have to run through an, a certain amount of those. And it's going to get increasingly difficult based on the level geometry to sustain your boost state for whatever reason. There's ancient technology teased here in the logos, even in the first teaser. And so it makes sense that if you activate this ancient technology, it's gonna have some effect on this new villain. Sonic, for whatever reason, is connected to this somehow because he has these glitchy abilities as well. So if Sonic is able to activate this AI, this world should become fuller. This is an open zone game. So it's very possible that by chance is the island in which Amy is trapped on. So you're probably bringing back a lot of other NPCs that will bring this whole world to life, but then you will unlock another zone, which is a biome, and you will be guided by another character. Now that sounds really exciting to me because it gives Ian a chance to kind of show his understanding of the characters, kind of see the character dynamics. I think it would be a really great way to, to fill the world with life, but also to see your impact on the world around you. This one's glowing and it, coincidentally it is glowing pink. That's the same kind of energy that Sonic has guys. It's almost in the bag at this point that Sonic's going to activate these pillars. And I'm almost certain there's gonna be an incentive to keep your speed going through those rings. And if you go through a certain amount of them, they will activate either one of these little beacons, other things in the level, and it will give you more things to interact with Okay, so this wall right here, it's really interesting because we see what looks like an Eggman base up here, but we also see this path that seems to have that same kind of ancient language on it that Azuka was teasing and says means something, but we don't know what it means. I think that just visually represents that you can use Sonic's new abilities to run on the wall there. They need some sort of visual representation of what you can interact with in this world. You need to be able to easily recognize it while moving really quickly and make that decision while improvising around various pieces of level geometry. It seems to imply that there's gonna be some structure going on here and there. We really just need to see how it comes together at this point. A lot of people are saying that there's a rail in the back here, right, right behind my head. What is it? What is it? It's like right here, right? Right? You're not gonna be grinding on my head, I don't think. It's a gross image. It's possible it's our first look at a rail. So this is more of that visual representation of what Sonic can interact with here. Makes me think that Sonic can run straight up this, but I'm not so sure. That would be such a shame because that would be way too easy. It should take some skill to get up these things. And if you can run up these things, that would be effortless. Maybe you can't run up it until it's activated. Maybe when you activate the ruins, you activate certain ruins and imagine one of these discs shifts slightly. That would encourage your curiosity, right? And maybe, when you do one puzzle before another one, it shifts one near the top. So you kind of get the sensation that you're building a puzzle. And as you complete other puzzles and challenges in the world, you know to revisit this tower because you know it's building something. Maybe the pieces you've moved start glowing like the other tower we saw. 
and that's how it's showing you you're completing something. Then once the whole thing is assembled, you can use your abilities that you've obtained to get to the top. That would make the most sense to me. A lot of these leaks have said that we are getting Titan battles where Sonic has to climb up a giant enemy and hit various weak spots to take it down. It also probably teaches you how to beat these Titans by completing these towers. So when you complete the towers, ideally you would use those same skills when you fight these Titans, except the Titans are gonna be moving and adding other challenges attacking you. But you should feel like by the time you fight a boss, you have the skills required to battle it. So it feels satisfying. All right, dude. So cartoony is fine, right? Unleashed is praised as the Sonic game with one of the best art styles of all. Now, I think the reason it's praised so much for its art style is because of the human designs, which are incredible. The environments are realistic, but they're also distorted. There's loops still in that environment. Meanwhile, we're seeing cities that look like they're photorealistic, at least at the time. And then we have cartoony hedgehog running around, but there are also cartoony humans. Unleashed gets a pass because that was released on the Xbox 360 PS3 generation. The reason it's a problem now is because technology has come much, much further, but mostly because of the movie. There is no cartoony humans to kind of make this feel consistent. Sonic can stay just like this, I don't care. I just think it would be much better in a game like this if there was realistic textures. I'm hoping that you build this world as you progress through it and those slight hints we saw of futuristic worlds become main city hubs full of NPCs and the reason I also think this is going to happen is because it would feel very strange if they designed all these variants of Sonic character-esque designs for the Avatar and to not even utilize them to generate NPCs to fill this world. It's okay, Sonic. I'm, sh I'm sure your game will be all right. Uh, uh, maybe not, but... Uh... But over here, this triangular thing, I'm noticing it looks very sharp, similar to the AI that was chasing him. I wouldn't be surprised if this was actually some sort of enemy that you're trying to avoid. And this world seems to be barren of all life except for the AI. Over here is another one of those towers that we were looking at. We already talked about it in depth, so there's not really much to say. And if they glow when they're completed, it will also give you a sensation of where you've already been. So you know where you need to go. Move out of the way, chair. I got Sonic to talk about. Oh uh, yeah, right there. <laughs> So it looks like some sort of puzzle area is going on down there. Some blocks you probably have to shift, put in the right area. It, that I'm not looking forward to. It was one of my least favorite parts in Sonic Unleashed, just moving blocks as the werehog. It's just not my kind of thing. Animate, please blink. Please blink, just once blink for me this time. One idle animation, I've asked for just one idle animation. Sonic, I swear to God. So we just need to see gameplay, Sega. We need to see how Sonic interacts with his environment. I'm confident that that was the top priority. They have worked on Sonic's movement in a 3D space. Whether or not it's good is to be seen, but I am not on the side of the argument where they're not showing it because they're not confident in it. This whole world would have to be built around Sonic's kit. It wouldn't make any sense to build a world and then try to paste Sonic into it after the fact because then it would end up no different than all those Unreal Engine Sonic things. That's about everything I have to say. We're gonna do the same kind of analysis for every trailer that comes out. So be sure to subscribe if you like videos just like these. I'm Evan for Tales Channel and I'll see you next time. Peace.